it's Friday. And we get to do sentence of the day on Friday. This is our only our second time to ever do sentence of the day on Friday. And remember last time we actually got to pick a person that we know who is really slow and can be great at things. So now I wonder what um, this is going to have us write about. So let's go ahead and read what our story is talking to us about. So we had, we started out with um, the narrator, narrator hiding in the garden. We then had Jen that hid in the shed. We had Ted that hid in the can. We then had Ben that hid in the yard. So now I wonder what we're going to read about next. So let's see. Jen counted down and I hid behind the old barn. Ted hid under the steps. Imagine that one of your favorite friends was playing hide and seek with you. Ben, Jen, and Ted. Write a sentence that tells where your friend hid. So you're going to imagine that one of your friends was playing hide and seek with you. So it can be anybody, mom, dad, sister, anyone. And you are going to write a sentence that tells you where your friend hid. Now remember, you can use all of the words uh, on our word wall for on our words of the week to help you create that sentence. But like last week, I'm not going to write a sentence for you. You're going to take a picture and you're going to make sure that you have labeled everything with and underlined your subject and your predicate and that you have labeled with blue and traced over your um, capital letter to begin and then your period at the end. So once you finish writing that sentence, I want you to submit it into Schoology. All right. Tell me where your friend would have hid if you were playing hide and go seek.